Human beings are sort of unique amongst animals in that we have language. So we have the most complex breathing patterns because what makes speech intelligible is this great variability in breathing. So we're able to consciously control our breathing so that we have pauses, we can make intonation, we can create tone, we can sing opera, we can do all this sort of stuff that other animals are not able to do. And there are also unconscious breathing processes in a different part of the brain, around the brain stem, that just drive our breathing automatically, whether we're, you know, awake or asleep, even when we're unconscious, we're still breathing. These conscious processes whereby we modulate our breathing, they make us very able to alter and change breathing control. Due to the process of neuroplasticity, we can train our breathing to become more optimal to support health. Particularly um, if we train our breathing in different ways, using things like breath holding and working with um, training ourselves to breathe through our nose, we can learn to become you know, more tolerant to a more, to, to a more optimal um, volume and mechanism and mode of breathing. People start to get improvement within a week. People find that they're more comfortable with nasal breathing and that their breathing becomes more relaxed. Their diaphragm starts to function a little bit better. But you know, people continue over months, putting your full attention you know, into doing breathing exercises, which is the way to engage neuroplasticity. You pay attention to the thing that you're doing. You really bring your mental attention to it.